Obviously, when you think of Bardstown, Kentucky, you think of bourbon. But today, we're going to take a step back into history to understand a little bit more about the city. And for that, we're going to visit our friends at the Kentucky Historical Society. Alyssa Allier is a digital archivist here. Uh, Alyssa, first of all, really set the scene for us here. You're really taking us back. Yeah, so we are standing in our permanent exhibition, which is called A Kentucky Journey. And uh, in particular, we're in our Victorian sitting room, which recreates okay. what a uh, middle-class household would look like in 19th century Kentucky. All right, I'm curious to know, what is your favorite story about Bardstown or what big historical moment do you like to look back upon? Yeah, so there's so many, but I think my personal favorite has to be Bardstown's connection to the French Revolution. So in 1799, King Louis Philippe, who was going to be the future king of the French, uh, was in exile in Havana, Cuba, where he ran into a bishop from Kentucky, Bishop Joseph Flaget. Uh, and Chaplaget befriended him, showed him kindness. Uh, so later, when Louis Philippe became king, as a gesture of thanks to the people of Kentucky, he sent millions of dollars worth of art to uh, St. Joseph's Proto Cathedral in downtown Bardstown. Uh, so you can still see all those paintings there today, and they're world class. What is maybe a little known fact about Bardstown? Because we think of all the typical things we think of ghosts, we think of bourbon, <laughs> yeah. right? We think of the Talbot Tavern. What's something that maybe people don't know so much about. Yeah, so speaking of the Diocese of Bardstown um, in the Catholic history of the area, uh, there's actually the oldest still active monastery in the country in Bardstown. So that's Our Lady of Gethsemane Trappist Monastery, and it was founded in 1848. And what is Bardstown's connection to Kentucky? Yeah, so it fits really nicely into kind of all the stories we know and love, right? So you mentioned its history with whiskey and bourbon, um, but it also played a role in the Civil War. So in 1862, um, a bunch of generals, General Buell and General Bragg, passed through on their way to the Battle of Perryville. Uh, so it's really got these stories embedded right in it. You guys do such a great job working with us, partnering with us, telling these amazing stories of Kentucky that I'm always like, wow, I didn't, I didn't know that. So if people want to learn more about maybe Bardstown and other collections, where can they visit here? Yeah, so um, if people are interested in learning about their Kentucky ancestors in Bardstown, they can visit our research library. We've got files on Nelson County. Mm -hmm. um, I run the digital collections. We've got some digitized photographs of Nazareth Academy and the courthouse, um, and even uh, my old Kentucky home. And uh, my favorite thing is that, uh, speaking of my old Kentucky home, we possibly have the candle by which Stephen Foster wrote our state song, and it's right over there. Uh, so whether or not the legend's true, it's still a really cool piece of uh, Kentucky history right here in our exhibit. I'm curious, why do you think specifically it, it could actually be his, his candle? Well, the guy who gave it to us said it was, and you know what, we, we might take his word for it. <laughs> All right, to learn more information, just go to history.ky.gov.